You start with the trying to simulate the look like Luke McCown uh, or Garrett, you know, are trying to simulate the timing and the tempo of the throws and the route design. Um, and so I, I think, look, the key that for the defensive lineman is, and this would be the case every week, but there's times where, you know, you're going 100 miles an hour and you can't get to the passer and yet you got to go the next time, the next time, the next time. And, you, you know, you don't know that rep where it's going to be, you know, a split second longer and you're going to have a chance at a, affecting him. Um, but he's very decisive, uh, obviously experienced and, and sees coverage as well and knows where he wants to go within the framework of what they do. Internally, do you guys have an average time you, you like to be around? Well, it would vary based on the, the play. You know, right. there's three step drops that you're going to be underneath, you know, two. And then as you progressively get deeper in the pocket or deeper down the field, you get a little bit longer in the, the timing sequence. With them throwing short, uh, tackling is always important, but does it become more important with them throwing short trying to get guys out there? It's, it's huge in this game because the one thing they are good at is their yards after the catch are in the tops in the league. So they're doing a really good job of creating bigger plays off an underneath throw. Um, the receivers, tight ends, uh, even the running back, all those guys have had real good production after the catch. And so our tackling is going to be important.